I'm going to take a wild guess. I think Jeff Keighley's going to be in this one. I don't know why. Jeff Keighley! Ah, oh, see, what did I tell you? <laughs> Where is he there? <laughs> Jeffrey! Wee. Welcome to Summer Game Fest 2024. You ready to see some video games? No. Just I know two things. There's no GTA 6, and I know Alan Wake's supposed to be here at some point. Creators around the world over the next two hours. Two hours? Oh my god, I want to go to bed. It all begins right now. Here's our first announcement. World premiere. Yes, uh, Lego stuff. Whoa, Lego Movie 5, I think. That's Emmett, right there. Traded in his builder's license for a hot dog. That's Horizon. Lego Horizon. Wait, it, it actually is. How many times has this game been remade, ported? Like, I swear, I see this game like every five minutes. No More Room in Hell 2, the sequel to the 2011 award-winning source mod. Eight players oh, start- No More Room in Hell 2, huh? Oh, wow, oh, Jesus, Lord. This looks like a game. I played this game like years ago, but I, I, I don't remember what it was about or what was going on. This looks quite good though. But then again, the, the day before looked quite good as well. And uh, you know. <laughs> so is this game just like Left 4 Dead or? Oh, permadeath. Oh, brilliant. I love permadeath. Eighth player co-op. I don't have that many controllers, man. Sure. I'll give it a try. Thank you, Jeff. Hi, everyone. I am Hi. so excited. Let's get straight to another world premiere. When it comes oh, to British, not Harry Potter. I see the graphics have improved since uh, Hogwarts Legacy, huh? I like this bam, bam, bam of the games. Like, it's just, it's just, you know. Oh, this looks brilliant. You could throw the soap and hit them with <laughs> the spoons. Okay, good, good. Got the key card. All right, we out, boys. We out. Just a team prison escape game, I think. Oh, the SWAT team. Oh, and they're all dead. Good job. Oh, it's a Call of Duty mission. Oh, you should have known. <laughs> the good ending. <laughs> that's a fun one, right? And remember, that's all made by one person. the past In these walls of time let us all for death prepare so, so it shall be so it shall be hello everyone at summer game fest on behalf of the Firaxis team we are, are you? civilization 7 is coming day and oh another civilization game right uh, we, we've ha I'm i swear we've had about five in the last like two years <laughs> haven't we like i swear every game show it's like the, the same game is shown whoa dude he's got like a staff and stuff and the giants black myth wukong graphics are very good brings a terrible is that lara croft surely not oh my god it is it's tomb raider Smallest creatures show the greatest resilience. They really went all out for this one, huh? We stand together. Oh, once human. I, I, uh, Charlie showed me this game before. It looked quite good. Please welcome the director and art designer of Persona 3, 4, and 5, Katsura Hashino and Shikanori Sojima. Oh, yay, Persona. Mm -hmm. I, I, I like that one. My favorite game, people. The only footage, the only experience I have with Persona is that tactics game. I've seen like gameplay of it, and there's like a cat, and <laughs> that's about it. Batman Arkham Shadow is a MetaQuest 3 exclusive VR game coming later this year. Oh, as Batman I do like the Arkham games. They are very good games. I played Arkham Asylum, and I'm like a new halfway through Arkham City, and to play that in VR, unstoppable, actually. Oh yeah, man. Batman. The Rat King will stop at nothing to destroy my city. Do I actually have to fly to make Batman fly destroy him. in the game? Batman Arkham Shadow. Yeah, there it is. Oh, it's only on MetaQuest 3. Only. Okay, well, uh... Oh, Terry. I don't know why. I, I, what, what game is this? Ada Wong. Oh, Street Fighter. Wait, I get to play as an angry Scotsman in this game? Am I, 
Might have to chip in. When are we going to get the Welsh games, man? When can I play as a Welsh one? Like, why not this one in Wales? Bloody brutal, oh Jesus. Now we step into the world of Delta Force Hawk Ops, a free-to-play tactical shooter available to play on all platforms. I fear to this. I have not played that. What have you got for me, Jeff? Extraction mode. Extra okay, well, not what I wanted to hear, really. <laughs> I see what they're doing. They're trying to capitalize on the, the Tarkov drama that happened. Oh, wow, it's just Call of Duty. I mean, look at that. Do you see that? Uh, it looks fun, though. Extraction shooters, uh, they're not for me. I like the survival aspect of it and the realism, but it's like, uh, I just can't see myself sitting down and playing it. I just wouldn't have the patience. But that is not all. The game's premium campaign mode, Black Hawk Down, is a reimagining of the original game that is also fully licensed to recreate moments from the award-winning Ridley Scott movie. There's a campaign mode, huh? Okay, okay. Now we're, now we're talking my language. Single-player experiences, ooh. Oh yeah, there was a yeah, of course. This was a movie and a and a game back in the day, right? Wow, this looks good. Get down, get down. Get down. No one gets down. Oh my god. I'm never. Oh, I I don't know what that like though. Do you see? Oh, wow. Uh, yeah, sure. I'll take that. Better than Call of Duty anyway. And become Master Chief with Dolby Vision. I'm gonna jump straight into the action too. Well, thank you, Dolby. Jason Blum and his Blumhouse banner have become synonymous with incredible horror films over the years, like Get Out, Megan, and last year's Five Nights at Freddy's. Well, now Blumhouse is entering the video game world in a big way. She. Oh, I hate mannequins too. This game will kill me. Oh, no, it's it's a retro game? Hold on, what? What, 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 what? I can't Are these all different sleep. games? I must not sleep. I am terrified to sleep. Oh, they are. And They're I all different games. Okay. Amy, I'll save you no matter what. Oh, it's got the just PS1 styled uh, game. The PS1 graphics scare me, man. That's cool. They're not making just one type of game. They're sort of making all sorts of different uh, genres and, and styles of games. You'll, you'll all be very happy to know we're working at this very minute on the sequel of Five Nights at Freddy's. It's coming. Don't no. worry. <laughs> anyway, no. Anyway, Put it to bed. Stop to making Five Nights at Freddy's stuff. Please, I beg. Popular. It Our needs to rest. It's, it's, it's been milked so events. hard, and man. We want it to be weird and subversive and find the most effed up, scariest things they can and put them into really <laughs> cool games. <laughs> He said F'd up, I don't think Jeff uh, approves of that, he probably got scared. <laughs> All the sponsors were just, just about to pull out. <laughs> Power Rangers game with a retro feel. <laughs> go back to the beginning, here we go, this is what I've been waiting, yes. Power Wranglers. Imagine a Power Rangers first person shooter. You know like what they did with like, um, Robocop? Just have that, but Power Rangers. <laughs> That'd be so weird. But this looks good too, this looks very fun. Oh my gosh. Quite a harsh transition. <laughs> Going from Go Go Power Ranger into, into this. I like the art style. You're gonna carry a baby deer with you? That, that, that's, that's the best thing I've seen. Oh my god. This game is amazing. And the main antagonist is a hog with purple eyes. Next, we step into the dark mind of Silent Hill creator Keuchiro Toyama san. Uh, back in 2021, we announced his new game, Slitterhead. At the Silent game Hill. Now oh, it's not Silent Hill. Oh, but it, but it, but it does look scary. Oh, come on, give, give, give us a, like a really good horror experience, like just something that will absolutely like scare us into into just never playing games again. <clears throat> oh yeah, see, see, on the right track. Hang on a minute. D d didn't we see this game like a few years ago? It was like the woman, she had like a flower in her mouth. Okay, definitely not the, um, the horror I was thinking of. <laughs> this... <laughs> yeah, not, not, not quite what I meant. Oh yeah. GTA 6. Come on. There's a reason why I'm called Killer Bean. <laughs> it's because I'm good at what I do. Oh, oh, oh really? the ricochet. 
Tell me how ki the, the Killer Bean game looks much better than the latest Saints Row game. <laughs> like, an international organization powerful enough to shape the world. Until they lied to me and tried to kill me. Now, damn, this guy has a story to tell, him. huh? <laughs> <laughs> they have no shame in showing the like the glitchy takedowns. The character just goes flying. There's zombies and stuff. Oh, this game looks really good. <laughs> Yeah, can I get a wish list, please? Is this on Steam? Audrey Le Prince and Emmerich Toa. Oh, Hello, they're already Jeff, just, just TP'd in. Happy to our Fury and Haven. <laughs> Sorry. To introduce I, I shouldn't be nitpicking. Care. Why is she holding the microphone when she's about to sing? <laughs> I don't know, it's just tickling me the way she's holding the microphone. Karen is and he is as well. <laughs> I feel like this game's just going to be another one of them, um, you know, rage games. Like, uh, only up or, yeah, or definitely. Of Haruna, a young woman born with the ability to venture into the fold, a dimension that overlaps our own. They called themselves the Sahin. I don't mean to sound like an ass. Does this have I feel like there's so many games now where there's just, you're a woman, there's a temple, and you go into the alternate dimension. Like, those three things, like, make up, like, 80% of the games that I've seen. I don't know, I just, everything's sort of just... Well, the same now. The first Descendant will be available across PlayStation, Xbox, and Steam. Why is she not on stage? Now, What's wrong with the stage? The release on July <laughs> Please welcome two developers whose hit indie game, Among Us, took the world by storm and a couple of oh. game awards. <laughs> They're the Among Us. Them two. What's up, gamers? Oh. Shut <laughs> So Can you believe they just let us be on this stage? Like, no chaperones, like... I know. Can we announce something totally fake? Oh, do you, do like, you think they'll let us do that? Among Us 2? Among Us 3. Turns out we actually have something very real we wanted to present to you all today. Uh, some they give me a weird vibe. Why are they so weird? So that's why we're excited to announce our side project, Outer Sloth. An indie game fund we made that offers the kind of deals we would have wanted back in our less popular Among E days. I love seeing all these indie um, for the soul. studios all passionate and, you know, I love the games they, they make and stuff, rather than being owned by, like, a big corporation <laughs> that just wants to pump out games for the money. Did you know that there's going to be an Among Us TV show? The Sounds like you did. Oh. Yes, there's oh. going to be an Among Us TV uh, show. Check out this sneak peek. Uh, no, no. Please be live action. Please. <laughs> no, it's it's animated. God damn it. <laughs> oh no. The kids will be all over this. Wait, hang on. Ashley John. Did I just see the Ashley Johnson's in this? Oh my god, I forgot about the finals. I was meant to play that ages ago. I never got around to doing it. I think I just got put off by all the sweat. Oh my god, my eyes, please. I'm blind, I can't see the advert. Oh, 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 samurais and grenade launchers and, and, and katanas. Uh, it looks fun, but I just don't want to get, like, shot on by a bunch of fucking sweaty cunts. Please welcome multiple Game Awards winner and a dazzling Game Awards performer, if I do say so myself, Sam Lake from Oh, Ray. yes, yeah, okay, okay, all right, here we go. <laughs> there he is, Max Payne. Hell of darkness. Show me the champion. Oh. <laughs> this guy, this guy. I think that's enough. Thank you. We are excited to announce physical deluxe editions and physical collector's editions for our Alan Wake statue coming this fall. We promised you some expansion content. Yes, yes, you did. Too. Yeah. Right. I'm thrilled to introduce you all to Night Springs. Ooh, okay, okay. It contains three episodes with three familiar fan favorite playable characters in mysterious, terrifying, and quirky what if scenarios. Night Springs will be playable. 
in less than 24 hours. Oh my god, yes, okay, okay. Your remedy doesn't mess around, man. Thank you. Night Springs. Take me in, Sam. Take me in. Uh, it's the guy. Place. Mr. Door. Space. Existing in a countless number of parallel realities. Different every time we set upon the road that leads us there. And yet, always familiar to us. I hope it's not a rogue like, like um, Assassin's Creed. Uh, no, bloody God of War, Valhalla. Oh, whoa, whoa. I can play his rose. And I will come back for you, my love. This is gonna get strange. Oh, thingy! I am the very soul of literature. Why are they putting Rose at like the center of this? I'm not playing as Rose. Okay, I can play as Jesse for whatever reason. I have a shotgun. Well, I got a. Wait, is that? G That's a real shotgun. I can play as Jesse, Rose, and um, the other guy. Available June 8th. Wow, okay, so I can literally play this tomorrow. That's made my day, man. That's about, is it free or is it paid? They didn't say. Now let's head to Sam Vansterdam for a new look at Skate from EA. Oh, yeah, Skate, that's right, that's right. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Oh, yes. Still working on it. All right, we'll do it quicker. Pre-alpha. Pre-pre-alpha, okay. Okay, okay, you can, uh, you can skate. Graphics may need a little tweaking. Yeah, looks a little bland, but it's, it's pre-alpha, so I do like a bit of skate, though. Very exciting that people will finally be able to play skate on console in the near future. Uh, and PC, PC, please. I do like Power World. I haven't played it in a while, but, I mean, the Japan update. How can I not play? It's frogs and stuff, look. I, d I didn't get that far into this game, so I, ne I never got to use like the guns and stuff. I, I need to go back and, uh, and try to see if I can get a minigun or something. Next up, we've got a big announcement from Valorant. Here's Andy Ho and Anar Gilfeson from the Valorant Oh, th this, this game's still around. And today, the stage is set to welcome a whole new group of players. Oh, we're, we're going Let's on console, on the Switch, and then mobile, and... I've never played this game, and I intend to keep it that way, okay? You will never catch me play this game. Ever. If this has crossplay as well, it's over. It's over for the console. PC will destroy the controller players. Petty on them. Phantom Blade. I think I remember this one. It looks amazing though. This is all gameplay apparently, so. Don't. Don't go up there. Turn back. Oh, what the f oh. Oh yo yo yo! Whoa whoa! Oh, look at the gore! Wow, that looked pretty nice. And that's gonna do it for our Summer Game Fest live show. Thanks to Joy uh, for we joining are. us. That's it. Thank you, Jeff. Thanks, I Jeff. Had such an amazing time. For other event streams this weekend, and we'll see you again live this August 20th in Germany for Gamescom opening night. Yeah, live. see you Thanks in Germany, man. Everyone. See you in August, Remember, Jeff. Have a good one. Right Goodbye. Take care, Jeff. It's been an honor. You've given us some um, some decent games today, actually. I got I got a few on my list. Usually it's about like zero. And there we go. Summer Game Fest is over with. I can go to bed. Fantastic. No, 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 no more, no more. Bedtime, bedtime, please.